if you're really good at solving problems like this, then you get the salary, you get the job, right? $9,000 to relocate for 14 weeks. I am still applying to a lot of places and possibly next summer I can tackle the big guns, the, the salaries and the companies that I've just showed you. Let me introduce you to the world of internships, your first real world experience of getting utterly disappointed. Pretty much what happened to me. So you might be wondering where did things go wrong? Well, I failed all my fucking interviews. How many internships did you have to apply to for your first internship when you were in college? Probably around 20 or at ASU oh. so yeah I've applied to almost 270 so far yeah <clears throat> what's up I'm Feng I mean it's not my name but it may as well be I'm just kidding it's actually how some kids are some kids they're just like uh, like interesting facts about me one I work at Fang Two. I got my ass completely handed to me for about a year and a half and then last week I got my first like decent offer my first high-paying internship and a week later I got my second one and it's Fang which is uh surreal you know how when you're single nobody wants you and then one day you get a girlfriend and then now everybody kind of wants you it's kind of like that like you have nothing you get something and then now you get another thing or maybe this is like, uh, I did notice in life, it seems like when bad things happen, then bad things just keep happening. But with one good thing happens, good things start happening. So hopefully a bunch of good things are about to start happening in my life. I don't know, we'll see. If I had started my channel right now, like if this was my first video ever, I could play into the whole like, you know, like the Fang kids. Like, yeah, this is how I got into Fang. And then just be one of those like smart kids on the internet. You guys wouldn't have seen the past versions of me, so you would believe into it. But now if I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'm so smart, I'm fang, listen to what I say, then you guys can kind of just be like, weren't you getting your ass kicked like three months ago? And I'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I'm not going to play into the whole I'm a fucking genius card because clearly you guys have seen that I'm not already. And I'm honestly willing to bet that a lot of these kids on the internet who are playing into the I'm a genius card, flexing their FANG internships, if you had seen them months before their first offer, they were also just getting their ass handed to them. You guys see those Instagram models? Like these beautiful women on Instagram that are like, you know, have great bodies. Once in a while, they'll post a photo of them in a very unflattering angle. And then everyone in the comments are like, Wow, you're so brave. Wow, you're an inspiration. Because I guess presenting themselves in an unflattering angle is very brave. That's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> but like for tech. Because like I could just play the whole, yeah, I'm fang material. That's just who I am. But like, no, dude, this was hard. This shit was fucking hard. <laughs> Which brings me to today's sponsor, the people who are paying me not to promote them, Dot Tech Domains. They're not selling anything, they're just a cool brand who wants you to come hang out and play this cool game they made. And I was like, oh. And then you use that game to bait them into some email newsletter. Nice. No, we won't be emailing anyone, except to announce prizes. And I'm like, prizes? They're giving away $20,000 in prizes. What a goat company. And I checked out the game at go.tech slash BTC trend and it's actually really fun. It's a place for techies to hang out and just flex their problem solving skills. I had a lot of fun playing through the puzzles, but I'm currently stuck on this one. I mean, seriously, how would you guys even answer this? If you have an idea, I highly recommend you click the link in my bio and try some puzzles out. If you do well, you can win these prizes, but remember, this game will only be open until December 2nd, 2020. So Make sure you go and check it out now. Studying for coding interviews, it is the exact same thing as studying for the SAT. So in high school, and if you guys have been watching me for a while, maybe you remember this, but in high school and my first YouTube video ever on my main channel, Trend Black, it was a video titled like uh, how I scored perfectly on the SAT math. So in high school, I got a perfect score on the math section of the SAT. Here's the thing. I'm not that good at math. In fact, I was... Like I was always like okay at math, but I was never like the best at math and I was never like some fucking math genius. But I did get a perfect score and it's because I kind of cracked like the way of studying 
And this way of studying, it's in two stages. Stage one, and this is what this SAT video talks about, but I'm about to plagiarize myself on that video and just apply it to coding interviews because I've realized like it's the same. Stage one is learning the material. <laughs> I don't even fucking remember what I had to learn for the SAT, but you have to learn like all the different subjects of math. So you have to learn like, uh, like how to do trigonometry questions and how to do uh, questions like systems of, systems of linear equations. For coding interviews, those topics that you have to learn are data structures and algorithms. Not necessarily learn how to you know use them in specific questions, but just learn like what they're about. Like if you're reading the answer to a question, if it says, and then we used a heap to do this, you shouldn't be, what the hell's a heap? You know, you should like generally have that knowledge already. So that's stage one. Learn the data structure and algorithms. What resources do I recommend for that? Okay, I'm working on a video right now, and this is the video I wish I had. I really wish I had this video when I first started learning, because it can be very like confusing at first. Like the first few weeks of learning, it's hard. So I'm making this video called Data Structures and Algorithms in 15 Minutes, where I'm gonna explain every single data structure you need to know in a very concise way and in a funny way. So if that video's out, it'll be in the description, but once again, it's gonna be posted in like two weeks from now. So people who are watching this video right now, like as I'm posting it, sorry, the video's not out yet. Second resource is MIT actually has this playlist on YouTube that I think is super helpful. Like it is, it's literally, shut up. <laughs> it is literally MIT lectures and they're giving it away for free and it's like it's like you know old school lectures like with the whiteboard and or it's a Shut the fuck up good old lectures where it's with a chalk So if you like learning in like a classroom environment and if you like watching old school lectures I think this free course on it's, it's a YouTube playlist highly recommend this MIT 6006 and they, they explain it very well so that's the free resource I'll recommend. Now, some people like paying for paid resources. Psychologically paying for something motivates you to actually follow through with it. You guys remember Joma Tech, The guy who I toasted. I mean, I ripped this man to shreds like a year ago because he had this one like interview prep course where it was, uh, it was like a thousand dollars and it was like awful. Since then, he's actually moved away from that and started working on a new project. And this time, it's, I think it's, he's doing a much better job. And basically, it'll have videos explaining all the data structures, and also it'll have a course to learn Python, just to like get into coding. And it'll also have SQL. Like with each question you do, there's like a forum so you can ask around. So having this entire community behind you could be helpful. It's uh, $8 a month, so you can use my code. Uh, it's trend.jomaclass.com and uh, that'll apply 15% off when you get it. So yeah, check that out if you wanna pay for something. But otherwise, this free course by MIT is solid as well. Once again, this is still stage one, learning. Then it comes to stage two. Stage two is pattern recognition. So in the context of the SAT, once you've already learned all the different types of maths you need to know, now you have to keep doing questions because you're training your pattern recognition. The SAT is tricky. It'll present a question. For example, this question will be a systems of linear equation question, but it doesn't seem like one. Like right off the bat, it's not like a blatant systems of linear equation question. You kind of have to be like, oh, and if I think about it like this, and I do this little sneaky thing, then, it, oh yeah, it would be a system to linear equation question, and then you can get it. But you have to recognize that pattern, and the only way to do it is keep doing questions, and when you don't understand a question, you'll have to like study that question and read the answer and be like, oh, so like this kind of implies that it was a system of linear equation question, and take note of that. Similarly, when you're studying for uh, coding interviews, you have to do so many questions, and let's say you've learned the algorithm of, say, backtracking. And then you'll read a question and the backtracking algorithm, it won't pop into your mind. But then you'll read the explanation and you'll see, oh, so here's how they use the backtracking algorithm for this question. So if you do similar questions to this, backtracking will not pop into your mind. So this is stage two, pattern recognition. You have to keep fucking doing questions until you can recognize patterns. The best platform for this is obviously just lead code. I think just do questions, it's not really like much more difficult than that. If you wanna break step two into like a step two A and a step two B, 
I can also offer advice for that. So step two A would be to do questions based on topic. So do a bunch of hash map questions, then do a bunch of tree questions, and then do a bunch of graph questions. When you do this, you start recognizing patterns within each group. And then for step two B, just do random questions, and then you have to figure out, oh, which topic does this fall into? But yeah, that's all I really think it is. Step one and step two. That's I think how you pass coding interviews in terms of studying. But once again, I'm not an expert in this. I literally got an offer this morning. So if you had asked me two weeks ago, there'd be no reason to listen to a word I say. So if you think my, like, my way of seeing things makes sense, then you can approach things that way. Otherwise, don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I got this offer. Um, once again, it's been a long journey and thank you guys for sticking around and caring. Thank you guys for making my last video blow up. And I'm gonna start making videos on the second channel every single week. You guys can hold me to that. Hold me accountable to that. If I, if I go a week without posting, then just uh, start bullying me on the internet. <laughs> um, okay, bye, thanks.